Hello guys, just a short update for you. Mod Organizer 2.1 has been released and it's available on the Nexus and I cannot express how happy I am about it and uh, how much uh, gratitude I have for uh, the development team. So thank you very much guys. They really, this is something great. I will make an in-depth uh, video later today just to show you um, here is my uh, Skyrim special edition folder and here is my mod organizer that I just downloaded from uh, Nexus I will update uh, the mod organizer in my Skyrim special edition now to check how it works quickly. So I'm in the main game directory, Steam Apps Common Skyrim Special Edition going inside Mod Organizer 2. And what I will do is just select all, then deselect uh, downloads, mods and uh, profiles, delete all. Now I will open the archive that I just downloaded from Nexus. This is the standalone version. So you have it here under files. Mod organizer standalone version 2.1.0 which is major news for me and for many people I guess today. Alright, so I have the zip archive. I'm opening it and I am dragging all of this into the mod organizer 2 folder in my Skyrim special edition game folder so drag it here and now let's see how it runs as said it's in the game folder I have a mod organizer 2 I just left downloads um, mods and profiles from uh, the old version so let's start the program now. It starts with the prompt if I want to run as uh, create new instance portable according to my uh, Tuco guide on the um, Nexus mods I am using always the portable version then it asks me for what game that is and I say Skyrim Special Edition and it opens. Now it asks me if I want to run tutorials. No. And here it is. So let's just maximize that a bit. And f first thing I do is go to settings, set my Nexus. password steam all right and I set the path to downloads to my other drive where I have the Skyrim special edition installers that's the one thing I need to do and then <clears throat> I will also set the style to Dracula QSS alright and now I will choose my profile that I had this is December 2017 Tuco guide and the game is actually uh, ready to be launched now I will now do one more thing go to the Vrybash page that you are pointed to in my guide over here and get Vrybash 307 Beta 2 installer so I will just delete the Moppy folder from my uh, Skyrim Common Special Edition uh, Steam Apps Common Special Edition I will delete Moppy and we will reinstall 
Now uh, Rybash with the latest beta 2 that I'm pointing to in my guide. Here it is. I will install only for Skyrim Special Edition. Yep. Setup was completed successfully and close. So you see we are using the normal Nexus Exe version. So now in Mod Organizer 2.1 let's create a new shortcut to common Sky Skyrim Special Edition Moppy Vrybesh Exe. And just name it WB Nexus. Let's see if it runs. It runs no problem. So, yeah, I updated the Tuco Guide instructions to use this version and to run the game, I run the launcher like I describe in the SKSE uh, sticky post, so um, everything is working fine. So if you're interested in trying that out and having uh, Mod Organizer 2.1 running uh, your game, um, you can visit the Tuco guide, my guide for uh, and tutorial for Mod Organizer 2 and uh, Skyrim Special Edition on the Nexus and it it works fine you can see many gameplay videos from my on my channel so thanks for watching drop a comment if you have questions and see you in the next videos